Hey, this is Jody Paydar here, the Radical CPA, and I am sitting here, and um, something caught my eye this morning, and I just thought I'd like to share it with you, because it's amazing to me how many firm owners are afraid to change, even though they know that things are changing, the world around them is changing, and yet they're not moving. So um, there's this article in Forbes, and I actually printed it out this morning, um, and it was written by Russ Allen Prince, who's actually, he's a wealth manager, and I'm sure he's trying to get you to do wealth management, which I don't think is a bad idea. But, um, and the title of the article says, 2016 will be harder on small accounting firms than 2015. And I'm not exactly sure why he's so doom and gloom, but on the other side, I think it's really important to think about, um, you know, the only way things are going to change is if you yourself change or you change your firm. And basically, his study in Forbes or his article in Forbes says that 70% of small firm owners are scared about 2016 and they think that it's going to be worse than 2015. And I find that so amazing because all the cloud owners, the cloud firm owners who work in the cloud, who are working with their customers differently because the world has changed, are seeing tremendous growth and really like their firms and are really like engaged and like ready for the future. And yet this guy is saying that 70% of small firm owners are really down on 2016. And it just, it's kind of crazy to me. And so then the other thing he said is almost half of the managing partners are scared of the tax uncertainty because of the new election year. And I totally get that. But the other thing that I don't understand about being scared about the tax uncertainty is from an accounting perspective, that should be really good for you. Because the one thing we do is we know how to deal with tax uncertainty, and we know how to express it to our clients. Hey, UltraFit Dancer, thanks for coming on. So one of the things that um, is amazing to me is we should be looking at that tax uncertainty as an opportunity to share it with our clients and help them work through it, not be scared about it. Another thing they said is that they said about nine out of the 10 respondents reported that the overall traditional accounting industry tax advisory is being significantly pressured. And okay, but yet Again, nobody's like thinking about changing. So why are you just sitting here and complaining about it and whining about how your firm is not going to do as well this year instead of looking towards change, looking towards um, applying new radical approaches to your firm and working um, to make it work better and to change? to change things. So, all right. And so this was the last thing that I thought was kind of crazy was it said, um, uh, what is very telling is some of more than four out of the five managing partners who anticipate a less profitable 2016 do not have any kind of strategy or approach for addressing the expected downturn. Really? The general consensus is that working harder at doing what they're currently doing is not going to be the answer. So, okay. So they figured out it's not going to be the answer. Um, but along the same lines, the 36 accountants who expect 2016 to mirror 2015 mm -hmm. lack to plan for the coming year. So if you're not going to plan and you're not going to change, then stop complaining because there are lots of radical CPAs out there. There are lots of young energized and and young is a state of mind firm owners who are changing up the accounting business model they're making the changes to make um, the accounting industry grow and prosper and just really help their clients because if if that's what we're in business to do is help our clients we should be thinking about that all the time and proactively working to help them not sitting and complaining about how our businesses are being bad or if if that's truly your mental state then maybe it's time to get out of business so um, that's it for my periscope today Day, but I just found it really interesting that this article in Forbes was so negative on small firms when all the small firms who I've talked to who are changing and, and doing different things are really growing and loving their firms and can't wait to take over the world. So if you want um, to do that, then my suggestion is, is to start changing the way you, you do things, work on your business model, and, um, and let's rock the CPA world and make it so everybody wants to work in a radical new firm. So talk to you soon. Thanks for stopping in today. Bye-bye.